Hello everyone, this is Jayant. I hope you did well in Tier 1 examination. Since lot of you asked me about detailed uh, Tier 2 strategy, I came up with this one. Let's start with GS. Minimum resources with maximum division. That's what I followed. Follow two books, Lucent and uh, Black Book GS. Let me show you my final exam paper and the book I used to rely on for Tier 2. Deficiency of which of the following vitamins causes excessive bleeding from wounds? You can see here vitamin K non clotting of blood. So it's a direct question from Lucent. Similarly, there are I mean look at this question. Bimbetka is located in which of the in which state of India? Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh Bimbetka. Similarly, lowest literacy rate in 2011 census. Again direct question. Bihar with a literacy rate of 61.8 percentage ranks last in the country. Next question. Tabakut I Nasri. Again, direct question. You can see here Siraj. Resistance. It's direct question. Resistance if I conduct it directly proportional to its length and inversely proportional to cross section area. Again, V equal to IR. You can directly, I mean, you can use this formula. Here you can, it is given as V equal to IR. So just substitute the values. 3, 6, 18, that means 6. Article 280. If you have a rough idea like parts, you can answer this question. Just 280 means it lies in this 12th part. So you can, you can mark it as, mark it as Finance Commission Welfare State Here again direct DPSP direct question You can see here DPSP Welfare of the People Moral Amendment Reforms If you remember the year you can directly mark it Moral Amendment Reforms 1909 Here If you have basic idea like Paddy Mage or Karif Crops you can eliminate option 2, I mean statement 2 from the options and uh, mark the correct answer. Here it is given. See rice, maize, millets, groundnuts are grown in the Karif season. If you read black book GS, you will be able to solve few more questions. Right now, I don't have the book with me, else uh, I would have showed you. I'm not saying that you can solve each and every question by, by reading just two books but you will be able to solve most of the questions read theory in lucent and when a topic is over go through black book and read all the questions that have been asked by ssc from that particular topic in this way try to complete all the topics analyze the previous year papers and focus on important topics which are being repeated as for current affairs i completely neglected them and focused on static portion which was a big mistake there were like six questions in my shift from current affairs and i couldn't attempt them and and uh, ended up with scoring 42 only so don't neglect them moving on to the next topic that is english first of all watch lectures of your choice for revision you can watch 100 most important grammar rules by I mean in RB YouTube channel. I will leave the link in the description. Order black book to read idioms, one word substitutions, synonyms and antonyms. It's vast and quite difficult to complete in this short period of time but you, you should at least try to complete the most repeated questions. My junior completed it and got 135 by 135 in final exam. Attempt previous year papers there will be 200 questions and uh, attempting them in one go is not at all efficient sometimes we tend to mark options based on our instinctive though we are not sure of it and while analyzing we generally focus on wrong questions and neglect the questions which are correct so next time if you get the same question we won't be sure i mean 100 percent sure about the answer so 
that's why while attempting previous papers with 200 questions it's better to first submit the paper with zero score and attempt the questions one by one if you do something wrong analyze it instantly and make notes whenever needed here is a sample of uh, how i did it it's not a perfect notes it's just noting down the mistakes that i made so that it won't be repeated again moving on to the next section that is quant first of all i recommend you group study because same question can be solved through multiple approaches so you should always try to adopt the best method me and my brother used to prepare together and our approaches used to be different for the same question so we used to discuss and adopt the best approach it will help you in saving time and though you already watch lectures i still recommend you to watch quant revision lectures in rbe playlist it's like a practice session solve the questions with uh, along with shubham sir and note down the shortcuts when you complete all lectures go for pinnacle sectional marks these marks are completely based on previous year papers since same model gets repeated in the final exam it will be helpful in improving speed and accuracy there are 100 sectional marks available attempt one mock daily one more thing solve the previous year papers from 2019 Learn all the models that have been asked in the previous year papers. If you still find any question hard, take a screenshot of it. Before going to exam, like 3 to 4, three to four days before, solve all the questions again. The main objective is, we should, have, we should be able to solve each and every model that has been asked in the previous year papers. That's it. Same models get repeated again and uh, there will be nothing new. As for reasoning, there is no need to watch lectures again. Just practicing mocks on daily basis is enough. Nothing more. Moving on to the next section. That is computer. I watched lectures of Radhika ma'am. And I recommend you the same. I will leave the link in the description. Read the PDF provided by them. That would be you know. The last one. Typing. You can use tip 10 for offline practice. Don't neglect typing. My senior cleared the cutoff of level 7 but uh, lost it because of typing. In the end, our main aim should be completing the syllabus, revision, solving previous year papers and attempting mocks on daily basis and uh, analyzing them. Don't get demotivated by low score in mock examinations. My senior average score used to be 250 in mock examinations but in the final exam he scored 320. My average score used to be 280 in mock exams but in the final exam it's 336. So don't worry about low score in mocks. Be consistent and uh, give your best. All the best for type 2.